This is the middle of a resolution recognizing two CAL FIRE first responders from Heritage Ranch Station 33 for life-saving efforts during the December 2023 call. This is going to be a slow moment, so we need our own Jeanette Trumpeter up here. Here she is. And um, take it away, Jeanette. Madam Chair, board members, thanks for having me today. As you know, once a quarter, we like to profile some of our public servants who are employees of the County of San Luis Obispo who either save our taxpayer monies, go, go above and beyond, or just exemplify their role as public servants. And, you know, a lot of times when people are doing this, it, it's the work they do daily, um, but to the people who are receiving their services, it's a big deal. It could be a couple coming in to get a marriage license, a widow coming in to get a death certificate so they can go on with the business of living. And uh, certainly for our emergency responders, the recipients of their service is a big deal. And this time we want to profile somebody at the request of one of those recipients. <laughs> There are about 3,000 employees working for the County of San Luis Obispo, and among those, there are those who go above and beyond in their commitment to public service. Their exceptional work may not make headlines, but it is worthy of recognition. We want to take a slow moment to do so. Elaine Hollingsworth is a bundle of energy, but she wasn't feeling her usual get up and go last December 5th, the day of the Heritage Ranch Senior Center's Christmas luncheon but she had promised to bring the stuffing and wanted to follow through with her commitment. I came through the doors holding my crock pot and the tables were set up and people were here and I walked in and I set it here. I turned around, I sat down at a table somewhere around here and then lights went out. Fortunately, Steve Negro is a retired firefighter. He was attending the luncheon and sitting a few tables away. And then my wife said, Steve, there's something wrong with Elaine. And I turned around and looked and I could see that she was in that, that uh, seizure mode. Elaine's seizure was not ending. She was in a life-threatening crisis. She wasn't talking, her eyes were fixed. Somebody called 911 right away. Fortunately, Cal Fire Station 33 is right down the street. Cal Fire Captain Craig Mikasa and Fire Apparatus Engineer Adric Zaya took the call. It was clear very quickly Elaine was in trouble. And they airlifted me by chopper from Heritage Ranch to Sierra Vista, I had a second seizure. And they didn't have the capability of monitoring me. So they choppered me to West Hills. 48 hours are simply missing from Elaine's memory, but she is well aware of how close she came to that memory of sitting down at the table being her last. While she is still dealing with some memory loss and recovering from her ordeal, one of her first orders of business was to make sure those she credits with saving her life know how grateful she is. Thank God for people like Steve who retired from this position and for Craig and Adric and all firemen, that all first responders. I think the big takeaway for me is that life is a whole different perspective. And unless you have been in a near death experience, you can't comprehend what it's like to get a second chance. Elaine says Slow County emergency responders cannot get enough thanks for her being here today. We typically don't get feedback after we, we tend to a patient, um, and we usually don't know the outcome or the results of testing at the hospital. Um, we run many medical aids, and so to have someone in the community come back and thank us personally and give us an update of how things went and, and stuff like that, um, it's, it's very nice. It, I think that makes more of an impact on this um, than anything. While the event that happened last December was life altering for Elaine, it's the kind of thing Cal Fire crews and other first responders deal with in our county on a daily basis. We, we run quite a few medical aids and we fly quite a few people out and we do the best that we can to treat their signs and symptoms and what how the patient is presenting. Um, and it, it's always, every day is a different experience depending yeah. on where it is, the patient, and how things are going. Of course, in the spirit of true public servants, they are hesitant to take much credit. 
You know, it's it's nice to be recognized, but uh, it's really, you know, we kind of feel like it's not yeah. necessary. We just kind of, we just do our job. It just happened that day that, that me and Adric were on duty. Uh, the other side of the shift, they do the exact same thing uh, every day that they're on. The other firefighters in the county, they're doing the same thing that we're doing. And so it's, it's no different. Everything that happened, the sequence of, of events that day just kind of worked out in, in Elaine's favor. For that, and their part in the happy ending to Elaine's story and hundreds of others each year, we want to take a slow moment to say thank you as well. So Elaine is still not able to drive and her ride wasn't able to make it today. She wanted to be here, but Elaine, I'm promising you if the cameras are on us, <laughs> howdy. She sends her sincere thanks and it's a good uh, reminder that all of our public responders or first responders really do do life and death work every day and, and this one meant a lot because the request for this slow moment came from a member of the public, Elaine, Adric and Craig, uh, are not able to be here because they're on duty getting ready to save some more lives, but we do have Chief John Owens and Public Information Officer uh, Tony Davis here to accept the proclamation on their behalf, so thank you. I guess we're standing up. We still have the reso to read. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, hi, Chief. Welcome. We have a resolution to read, and Supervisor Pashong will read that. And you're welcome to stand at the podium and accept sure. it as soon as. Thank you. Come on up to the. Come on up to the podium here. So this is the slow moment recognizing Cal Fire Captain Greg Mikasa and Fire Apparatus Engineer Adric Zeha for life-saving public service to the County of San Luis Obispo. Whereas Captain Mikasa and Engineer Zeha responded to a call for service on December 5th, 2023 with Elaine Hollingsworth suffered, when Elaine Hollingsworth suffered a grand mal seizure at the Heritage Ranch Senior Center. And whereas, thanks to their quick actions and decisiveness, they were able to get Hollingsworth airlifted to an appropriate healthcare facility equipped to address her life-threatening health crisis. And whereas, Elaine Hollingsworth has been able to make an outstanding recovery from her health crisis thanks to the quick actions of Captain Mikasa and Engineer Zeha, and whereas the first things Mrs. Hollingsworth wanted to do as soon as physically able was to make sure that Captain Mikasa and Engineer Zeha were properly thanked for their actions last December. And whereas Captain Mikasa and Engineer Zeha performed these kinds of critical emergency calls on a daily basis, as well as their colleagues on other shifts and at other CAL FIRE stations throughout San Luis Obispo County. And whereas the citizens of San Luis Obispo County are well served by the steadfast and reliable response of all CAL FIRE crews in San Luis Obispo County. And whereas Captain Mikasa and Engineer Zea exemplify the commitment to service, the sense of humility, so much so that when told about today's recognition, they responded that they were just doing their jobs. And whereas Mrs. Hollingsworth and the Board of Supervisors believe the people of the county are in good care, thanks to the service of CAL FIRE employees like Captain Mikasa and Engineer Zea, now therefore be it resolved and ordered that the Board of Supervisors of the County of San Luis Obispo, the state of California, does take a slow moment to recognize their service. Thank you. Chief, good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. What you do? Getting in there. All right. Big smile. Three, two, one. Thank you. Three. Thank you, and the podium's yours if you want to make any comments, please. Well, um, Madam Chair, Board, I'm John Owens. I'm the San Luis Obispo County Fire Chief and Cal Fire Unit Chief, and I just wanted to say thank you very much for, for this resolution recognizing uh, Captain Mikasa and uh, Engineer Zeha 
and unfortunately they were not be able to be here as you've heard and uh, I just want to say that um, they exemplify the work that all of our people do every day throughout this county and throughout the state of California and they really uh, are upholding the uh, the desire to serve the ability to perform and the courage to act and they're doing that every day, and they're proud of, of, of that service to, to the community of Heritage Ranch and to the citizens of San Luis Obispo County. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Um, I, I will open this up to uh, public comment for the audience. I don't have any requests to speak on this item. Seeing no one jumping up, I'm going to bring it back to the board. Supervisor Ortiz Light. Yes. Um, that was a great slow moment, Jeanette. I really loved it. And thank you so much to um, Elaine who asked for us to do it um, because it really does. I mean, you know, we can talk about the big stuff and we can talk about the little stuff because the little stuff is what happens every day. And the fact that our CAL FIRE teams are out there every day, 24 seven, um, gives us the ability to relax and knowing that they're there. We, we're, we're here for them too, and we need to recognize that it, as a county, we have responsibilities to these men and women who are um, supporting CAL FIRE, and I just wanna acknowledge that here because um, the fire and the insurance industry is one challenging world these days, and so um, we look forward to continuing supporting CAL FIRE and thank um, all of those that have helped um, our citizens and uh, our community. Great, thank you. Supervisor Gibson. Thank you, Madam Chair. Chief, please do pass along our regards and, uh, and uh, gratitude. Um, and I note that their humility in this situation is striking, although perhaps not surprising. But then it occurred to me that um, when one is just doing one's job and you get a result like that, that's a pretty cool job. So. Um, I think we've got a lot to celebrate here and uh, appreciate their being there. Supervisor Pichon? Yep, I too will add, uh, just doing their job. Uh, and they're out doing their job today, so it just shows you who they are. And, and all of the people that work at CAL FIRE and, and, and really support our community, uh, thank you. Supervisor Paulding? I'll echo those comments. Thank you so much to uh, both Captain Mikasa and Engineer Zaha and all of our first responders in our community who keep us safe. Thank you. And I too want to say thank you. Um, it's nice to have CAL FIRE in the house being recognized. Um, we know that we have a lot of communities like um, Heritage Ranch throughout, scattered throughout the county and oftentimes in an emergency, CAL FIRE is, is, is our go-to and uh, I, I, I we can't stress enough, I think, how people, how, what a great job you do and how people appreciate you. So I hope um, that's the takeaway from today. You're, you're um, so important to the citizens of the county and you're very much appreciated. Thank you.